here, that is the SRC, Salary Remuneration Commission, and the Public Service Commission, all protocols observed. Your Excellency, we are very happy today because on 21st December 2023, you, actually 2022, uh, within 100 days, as you had promised uh, when you were seeking election as President of Kenya, you formed a task force to look at uh, security sector reforms and improvement of terms and conditions of um, our men and women who serve in the security sector to protect our country from crime and from other threats. And Your Excellency, you did that, and um, the task force which was headed by retired Chief Justice David Baraga took a bit of time because we wanted them to do a thorough job. The terms of reference were extensive, uh, quite expansive, and um, November last year, 2023, they presented their report to you. Subsequently, you directed us to immediately uh, start the implementation of that process. And um, Your Excellency, we are happy to report that so far we've covered some ground because some of the recommendations are administrative and do not require even financial or other things. And therefore, uh, your uh, support today by gracing this uh, occasion to formally now launch the implementation uh, strategic uh, uh, program is very crucial to us and we are very excited that you got time to come and speak to us. Your Excellency, we were here two, three weeks ago and you directed us further to also look at um, some of the other things that could not be, are not captured already in the ongoing work, uh, especially around uh, the national government administration system, which is a significant and important link to the whole of government and whole of security sector delivery. We are working on those directives, mainly on uh, working with the Inspector General of Police to make sure that the police support the work that uh, the national government administration officers do out there in the protection of our country and in the maintenance of uh, peace and, 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 and uh, harmonious coexistence of the citizens of Kenya. We are already underway with that directive and we'll be producing, um, we'll be briefing you you also directed us, Your Excellency, to also um, uh, uh, include uh, reform issues on GAO to also uh, modernize their training, their orientation, so that they can align with the entire framework of a modern, more efficient, and uh, 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 output or a, a system that can help this country take um, the people to the next level. Your Excellency, I want to say two things before I invite you. The first one is that the task force, the recommendations are quite expansive and they are going to cost the government of Kenya uh, quite a bit, especially in these uh, uh, times when our fiscal space is not great. We are grateful so far through your leadership and directives we have started off on some of even the more difficult issues like welfare issues, but also other issues like modernization of equipment, especially for the police. And we hope that going forward in the coming years, we'll also be touching on the other services that are represented. So we are grateful. It's quite an expensive venture, but it is worth it. This country, for it to realize socioeconomic development, for this country to move to the next level, we require stability, a secure environment for invest investors, local and foreign, and um, a society that is cohesive. For that reason, Your Excellency, we are grateful for the sacrifice you've made and the leadership you provided. The second and last point which I want to make, Your Excellency, is to say that um, 
security anywhere in the world is a sensitive issue. It's not, a, it's not an easy matter to be able to put together all the competing issues and interests of the country and maintain um, uh, security. And therefore, this whole of government coordinated approach is the solution and the pathway that will help us realize and balance all the competing interests that we need to balance to ensure that the reforms that we implement are reforms that are people-centered, anchored on our constitution, and they are reforms that reflect the national interest in its collectivity. And I'm very proud today, Your Excellency, that Kenya, as one of the, if you look at our constitutional architecture for the security sector, as a, quite a very democratic security sector compared to even some of the older democracies. And I think it's the right thing that we chose under this constitution to have this kind of um, forward-looking and modern uh, security, uh, uh, people-centered security infrastructure. I want to assure you, under your leadership, from where we sit with my colleagues, uh, both my uh, colleague PS, uh, CS uh, JB Muturi and the other colleagues who are working uh, with us in this enterprise, um, uniformed and uniformed, we will deliver a people-centered, participatory, open, transparent, and efficient security environment that will help this country realize its socioeconomic and cultural objectives as underpinned in our constitution. Your Excellencies, today is not my day. This is your day. I therefore want to request our colleagues to be upstanding as we invite His Excellency the President to address us. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Please, let's take our seats. <clears throat> um, members of Cabinet present, principal secretaries, development partners, friends. It is with immense privilege to be with you at this meeting whose outcome will open the door to many positive changes for the good of present and future generations. The sector represented here is not only essential for national security, but it is also fundamental to the rule of law and public order, and therefore a pillar of our constitutionalism and a foundation of our democracy and prosperity. I therefore address you as a critical turning point in our nation's journey as we take the transformative step of reshaping our national police service, national prison service, and national youth service into bastions of integrity and efficiency that Kenyans want, have struggled for, and deserve. When I talk about transformation, I do not merely refer to major improvements, but a rebirth, which will necessitate a fundamental redefinition of how our security services operate and interact with the communities they have sworn to protect and to serve. In keeping with our undertaking under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, we embarked on this path in December 2022 by commissioning the National Task Force on Improvement of Terms and Conditions of Service for members of the National Police Service the Kenya Prisons Service, and the National Youth Service, commonly known as the Maraga Task Force. It was mandated to investigate the systemic institutional challenges hampering our security services and chart a new strategic pathway that promotes integrity, dignity, and respect, and improves the terms and conditions of service for our officers. This was done in the belief that it is and it would complement other efforts to develop our security system into 
an efficient service guided by the ethos of citizen service and respect for the rule of law. The findings of the task force revealed several issues, including obsolete policies and outdated practices, weak leadership, underfunding, and most concerning of all, rampant corruption and numerous forms of gross malpractices as well as poor human capital development, in many instances low pay, poor working and living conditions, inappropriate tools and equipment, and lack of support for welfare concerns. As a result, trust between the public and the security services, which is indispensable for national security and the rule of law, had been severely eroded. Guided by the task force recommendations, the government of Kenya has initiated a series of reforms beginning with a 40% salary increase for the lowest ranks of services,